Welcome to EDLD 5320, Synthesis of Digital Learning and Leading, also referred to as a capstone course. I'm excited to be able to help you finalize and synthesize your experiences in the DLL uh, journey. I imagine you are perhaps even more excited than I am to be just a few short weeks away from completing this whole program. It's been quite the journey. Consider where you started and where you are now. For the most part, when you got started, you just had a basic understanding of the DLL uh, why, how, and what. Now, if you recall, our why is we believe that the digital learning and leading program at Lamar University must prepare our learners to be digital leaders who can use technology to enhance learning, lead organizational change, and shape the future of digital learning. To do this, the DLL program at Lamar provides an innovative, collaborative learning environment which equips you, our learners, with the necessary tools to use digital learning to effectively bring about change in your organization. We prepare leaders who can create learning environments, lead organizational change, and most importantly, drive innovation in a digitally advanced world. So did it work? Once again, I ask you to consider where you started and where you are now. Perhaps more importantly, consider <clears throat> what you're able to do now and how you are able to shape your organization's future. This reflection on your DLL journey and the consideration on where you will go next will be the primary focus on this capstone course. From the reflections on your experiences in the program, your assigned uh, readings, the weekly discussions, and from supporting research, you'll create three but separate and yet related resources. First, you'll create a reflection on how the COVA approach has aided you in your learning process, and then create a summary of how you will then apply the COVA approach to creating significant learning environments to provide your learners with choice, ownership, voice, and authentic learning opportunities. This is due in the third week. Second, you'll compile a final iteration of the innovation plan, the project where you will finalize and complete and promote your ideas. Uh, you'll also create an analysis of the innovation project, the learning process, the lessons learned, how you would apply the insights for future innovation projects. This is due in the fourth week. And finally, you'll create a final reflection and synthesis of all the key aspects and components of the DLL program and the e-portfolio process that have contributed to the development as, uh, of, as you as a digital leader. Um, a key component of this final reflection will be the creation of visual representation of your learning journey. This is due in week five. You've read many books and articles, watched even more videos, and spent um, many hours discussing ideas with your colleagues. The volume of new reading and exploration has finally come to an end in this final course. We're not going to be asking you to read any new books or uh, any other new ideas, but we will only be asking you to read a few short articles, a view a couple of short videos to help you shape your discussions and focus uh, on the course uh, to help you reflect on your DLL journey and bring everything together. Don't forget, you haven't been alone in this learning process, and you should continue to collaborate with your colleagues in the program. Their input, help, and support has gotten you this far. You need their help, and they need your help to help you all finish the program. I'm excited to see um, how you've benefited from the COVA approach and learned how to create significant learning environments. I'm equally excited to see your final iteration of your innovation project. And finally, I can hardly wait to see the visual representation of the DLL journey and how you plan to lead and shape the future of learning innovation in your organization.